Hey everybody, welcome to Love Cali. I'm Tommy C. I'm here with Boogie2988 and Wings Redemption. How are you gentlemen doing? I've had a stressful week. If I'm being honest with you, I've had a stressful week. I had to travel down to boogie. Texas. And then there was all that trap stuff. And then there was uh oh, kind of, did uh, I tra mention trap stuff. Trap Gambino, the guy who was like trying to oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, manipulate I thought my were, girlfriend like, and giving him boys. something. Yeah. By the way, my girlfriend gave him nothing. And I love that. But did you guys see what he just did? Did you guys see what this guy? No. He just went on the Ethan Ralph kill stream. This is like days after Ethan Ralph pulled a DSP and hit it on stream by accident. Is that real? I, I yeah. guess. Is that a DSP? I, I don't know what's I real and what's not when it comes to Ethan Ralph, but I'm just pre I'm pre I'm prone to presuming anything pathetic he's done, including having the scraps from our our show. <laughs> well, <laughs> but he really? I thought that was a. I thought that was like mis like edited. Like in a misleading way. I don't know. I I, uh, I hope that's the case for his sake, but also I really hope it's not because it seems like a thing that he would do. Um, but I will say that that trap guy, after everything nice that we said about him last week, after everything we did to try to get him a fight, you remember I was putting a, putting it into the universe, trying to get our fans on his side. He went on there and also decided to uh, show our private DMs, which I think most of us agree is kind of the lowest of the low. Well, well, that's we a, that's a, a social internet foul. So at this point, I number one, uh, I I would like to say, hey, I'm gonna make sure you don't get a fight, but I don't need to because he, if he wants to fight for Keemstar, the last thing you want to do is go on Ethan Rouse show, <laughs> like that guy. I suppose that guy just cut his own throat. It's why are you surprised that one of your trolls screwed you? I just you know at the end of the day. It's not even that he screwed me because I'm used to that. I've been waiting for the other shoe to drop this whole week. He didn't catch me by surprise. But the fact that he just screwed over his own wife because now he'll never fight for GameStar. Dude. Now, let me ask you something about your girlfriend, though. Mm -hmm. He he. She, so I, I imagine she told you she was tricked by him, right? Not really. Um, she get basically her explanation was he started talking to me and I just wanted to have a smoking buddy. And I just wanted to like, you know, occasionally uh, just say, hi, how are you doing? Uh, what are you doing today? And that kind of thing, just basic friend stuff. And then he kept trying to realize it. He kept trying to make it out to be more than it was. He kept trying to invite her out. And she just didn't know what to do with that. So she mostly just ignored it every single time. A couple, a couple of times she was like, huh, I guess, uh, you know. Um, and then eventually she just blocked his ass. You know, because that's what you do when a guy won't, you know, uh, yeah, doesn't but look, want to be your friend, wants to try kinda, to They kind of call you out on this, but she blocked him on stream with us, though. No, like, she, she blocked block him two him weeks before. Yeah, she dropped get unblocked? Him. I think she said she regretted doing it because he was a social media guy and she he she was afraid he was going to do exactly what he's doing right now. She was afraid that he was going to try to like come at me and do all this shit. Well, of course she was right. Of course she was right. You need to give her some training, some social media. Oh, I did today. I, 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 you know okay. what I told her today? I said, I, I love you very much. And at the end of the day, you should be allowed to have friends. And of course you are. And you're allowed to talk to your friends about whatever you want to. Okay. But you need to take your time. Like, let's get you into therapy. Uh, and let's get you back into therapy. I should therapy. say. Therapy. Right. And like, you can tell a therapist whatever you want. Right. Because that therapist is uh -oh. going to burn our ass. Right. And in the meantime, you establish some really great friendships with somebody you can really trust. And then you can tell them anything. Right. But as it is right now, because we're in a social media relationship and people are dirt. You you have to save it for family. You're gonna to have to save it for your therapist, and then eventually, once you've found someone you've been a friend with for a year, you can start talking to them about private things. But you have to be really surface level with a lot of your friends moving forward, and that sucks. That sucks. I hate that for her. I hate that for anybody. But that's how it has to be because people like this guy exist. You know. Well, I mean, I, I'm surprised he was, he actually got anywhere with her because the dude's a functional illiterate at this point in his life. Like he couldn't even get his microphone ready on the live stream. Yeah, you can imagine wanting to do social media for a living. You can't do social media. That's crazy to me. Like like he's it's been trying to get me to get in a fight. It's like, dude, first off, you could hand me twenty grand and I'd spit in your face right now because like I'm loyal. Like I don't need twenty thousand dollars. I'd turn I mean, it down about, just on your regard alone. Think about the ability that he just blew up. You want to fight that man for charity to help his wife. And he blew that up by going on the Ethan Ralph show. And it's so funny because Ethan Ralph has no interest in being good to nobody, taking care of nobody. He just uses everybody. He I knew. Mean, I think, I think he, Ethan Ralph has some knew. child support payments that back, back this up. <laughs> 
I don't know, man. At the end of the day, it's fun stringing along Ethan Ralph, and it's fun having him like nip at our our coattails, and it's fun to watch him like eat our trash we've thrown out when we're done with it. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's I don't know. It's just a I'm kind of boring. Can I tell you something about that stream that I hated? What that I was sort of watching you and Keem fight over whose girlfriend got their braces all f***ing first. And I'm over here like, my <laughs> wife is just getting out of the hospital for DKA. It's like, good lord. <laughs> it's like, we ain't got the same problems. I'm tired of hiding the fact that at the, at the end of the day, I find women in their 20s attractive. You know what? All men do. Come at me if you've got a problem with that. All men yeah, I mean, do. The I, difference I is the people that are assumption. mad about it. No, the people that are mad about it, though, at the end of the day, can't get a woman in their 20s. That's their problem. Well, well let's that's be fair. I, I don't want a woman in her 20s, but that's for my own personal reason. I don't find I identify with any of the things that are actually about. Like, I tried when I was like 26 or 27 to date a 19-year-old, and she blew my phone up all day. Like, just not, I'm bored. What you doing? And it's never like writing out the word, what you doing. It's W. Y <laughs> D, you know, it's like you're a your grammar Nazi. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, it's just like I don't need to be asked what am I doing every hour on the hour. I'm doing the same thing I was doing last hour. I mean, I'll just go as far as to say that uh I, I think I'll always be like 22 in mentally, if not younger, because well, I've spent the day playing uh power world that new video game that's pokemon with guns and then me and her went out and played pokemon go for a little while and then we watched the boys and i'm just having the best time doing it so uh, you know I just, I, your girlfriend knows how to cheat in you now when if she ever gets mad at you now she knows how to do it though because she learned from that um uh, what's it what's his name again trap gambino i don't even know what to call him trap I mean, I, daddy something oh, i don't uh, gambino I'm, I'm over here wondering like boogie when did you do any adults did you like balance the checkbook like Figure out no. what bills are due. Like, did no. you take one credit card and pass it on to another if it has zero, less interest? <laughs> None of that. None of that. Ain't never. <laughs> have you ever done any of that? <laughs> yeah, I have to every once in a while because you know otherwise the lights get turned off. So you kind of have to. <laughs> you just but don't auto put draft your light bill because like I got all my utilities auto drafted. I auto draft everything. Yeah, I, you name it, it's auto drafted, and I, and I said it and I forget it because otherwise I'm definitely going to forget it. So Which, if it, 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 it kind of burnt my yeah, ass one jail. time, I had a in like faucet outside my house that kind of like started to go bad so it started leaking water and next thing you know i got 600 dollars mo- water puddle outside and like fuck. and i didn't realize because it it's just auto drafting the water bill because he sit there and drip the fucking puddle in the backyard with like fucking forty thousand gallons or some shit like that you don't you don't check your stuff don't you have to do like regular maintenance don't you like aren't you uh i'm a landowner I'm, don't you gotta like, I'm a, cross the t's dot the i'm I's. a homeowner but i'm also fat and lazy Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's a fat tax for real, but yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's fat tax. I mean, you don't think about your fucking faucets outside. Did you? Go, when's the last time you went outside? You rent. Like you, you'd be like, "Well, I'll go outside and see the landlord doing." Shit. No, I have. I, I rent a. I rent a house though, so I'm out all the time, and I have to go pick up my son and you know, all sorts of stuff. So I'm always outside. But it's like always it's outside. like a faucet was like just a little drip on it, but it's like enough to over a month because I pay mine once a month. Over a month. It was probably years. <laughs> no, it's once a month. I just started noticing, like, oh, here's a $200 water bill. Here's a $200 water bill. Oh, <laughs> here's a $200 water bill. I don't walk outside to figure out where it's coming from. Well, I didn't, notice, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice I was getting drafted 200 bucks. Like, I usually keep... Boy, <laughs> Kelly must be really trying to, starting to get into that uh, uh, workout water drinking thing. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't even drink the box of water. Like, we use it for, like, washing clothes and, and, and baths and shit. We never drink it. Dude, maybe She's I got nasty because our water bill is like one eighty every month. But that closes mine's usually fourteen and bucks. Garbage and everything else. What? Fourteen dollars. What? Do you bathe? Yeah, I bathe. But we're on we're when? on what you we're on rural water, so it's like basically well water, and you only you only charge for what you use. And there's a, like Jesus a ten dollar fee, and there's what you use. And our water is super cheap. It's like fourteen to seventeen dollars a month. In my defense, I do pay a little extra because I'm near civilization. We're so not. I also don't have a sewer. Mm-hmm. Like your water might have sewer hookup with it. Oh yeah, we do I, definitely. Oh have. my god! Like I have a septic Woo! tank. Are you I crapping a in a tank. septic tank, or do you just have a honey honey pot digger come over and? <laughs> Guys are hillbillies, <laughs> both. <yeah. laughs> Yo, you oh, haven't ever you ever god. septic tank, Tommy? I did have a septic tank when I lived in Flemington, New Jersey. Yeah. But I was a kid, so I didn't take care of anything. But, but, well, know, septic I, I tank is so much nicer than sewage. I know this is a boring shit nobody wants to talk about, but like Boogie's paying $126, and 100 of that's probably cooking to the sewer. I can get seven years out of my septic tank and pay $200 to have it, have it flushed out every seven years. 
Who's, Until who's you need to here? replace the thing because it rusts out. I know how expensive it doesn't rust out. It's really. cement. I mean, the pipe, the lines oh, rust right. out, but like the line, I've already changed the lines, and they, the last lines last me eighteen years. You clean the septic tank? There's a there's a thing you like open the lid up and you throw it in there. But you do it like once a year. And you do it? Yeah. Or Kelly does it. Kelly does I it. I do it. Kelly can't lift the lid off that thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're made of concrete, dude. They're heavy as. Fuck. Hey Kelly, it's Kelly. It's that time of year. Get out there and clean that set. <laughs> Yo, if I can so convince I, her, I would definitely do it. So, <laughs> so I a, okay, I have a big question for you, Jory. Okay, what's up? All right. So the last time I crafted someone's house that had a septic tank, they told me to throw not to throw my toilet paper into the toilet. I had to put it in a trash can, and so I need to I know had that when I was, that happened to me when I was a kid. I need to know well, if you I, have a giant trash can filled with your. No, 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 no. The reason they told you that is they're using the wrong toilet paper. See, like, uh, sh like Charmin. Why did they do that? I, okay, I was like six years old, and I'll never forget this as long as I live, right? And the girl, she was like, we're both in like kindergarten, first grade together, and she says, when you know, when you poop, put, put the toilet paper in here. Do not flush it. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so disgusting. So I just flushed it anyway. And I remember, like an hour later, they figured it out somehow. I don't even know. Like what happened? They're not, like how do they they're not doing their maintenance on the septic tank. Well, how do they know already? It probably like, oh, it probably backed up into a bathtub or something. Whatever a spigot's closest to the septic tank, you'll have poop coming oh, out. Oh no. Of it. Oh god, I I lived, you know, I live like 20 minutes from New York City. Like what did they do? Cuz <laughs> like know? like if you like certain type of toilet paper like like Charmin for example, like I can't put Charmin in my septic tank because it's 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 thick and it's like two or three layered and it doesn't break down fast enough in the septic tank and it'll just get stuck in there and you'll slowly lose volume. This sounds like the headline of one of your troll videos. So what, what most likely happened, what most likely happened is they've been using the wrong toilet paper for so long and they, and they don't want to pay to have the septic tank like professionally cleaned and not just, you know, because there's a difference between having somebody bring a truck and suck your poop out. And another one actually literally get in and clean the septic tank out. But yes, he, he won't point. biodegradable. Hey Boogie, what's, what's in the news, Boogie? Well, there's a lot. Uh, I think the I think the thing that's trending the hardest right now is this Mama Mac stuff, and and yes. I, and I do I I want to throw my two cents in because Tommy you're the expert. Number one, let me say yes. I've tried to watch Moonhar's video on it. I tried to watch your video on it. I, your video is more succinct than the rest. I tried to watch Nicholas's. I've tried to talk to people about it, and I get the general idea that this guy has number one. Ne my video was a year ago. My video was right. a year ago. But you broke this story. Everybody needs to know that. I think kind of, but, kind of. In 2020, I said this guy, this kind of looks like a scam. And then in 2021, he made a video on me, and I knew it was a scam. Oh, let's watch this shit. Actually, you know what? Before we even watch it, let's take a caller. Hi, you're live on the air. I pick files. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I absolutely agree. Thank you so no, much but, for but calling me. Like, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. The, the people that watch these videos, the creating these videos, they're going into great detail for legal purposes and watch time and everything else. Yeah. But I can't, I, sure. I don't have the brains to watch a two hour video a lot of times. So I need you to help me today break it down. Here's what I have going I, into it because I, I have okay. autism, but not this kind of autism. And I want it to sink for the <laughs> other people out there who can like need the, the the Cliff Notes version. But here's the version I understand. I tell you, I tell you what, I'll tell you what, why don't we do this on both ways? It'll be fun. Okay. You tell me what you how you understand it. Wings tells me how he understands it, and I will condense it in like a paragraph, like a spoken paragraph. I think I can okay. do it. Well, there. let me so let me start. We'll do that. It's my understanding that this guy wanted all the clout of being a, a PDF file hunter, and he is mm -hmm. not. He is basically LARPed. He has basically created dramatized videos. He's dramatized evidence, and then mm -hmm. he when called out. It sounds like he has just claimed, no, I put people in jail. This stuff is for real. These act, these people that are actual victims. And then his audience, I would like to think that people aren't stupid enough to look. Because I watched <laughs> in one of parts of one of his videos and I was like, man, this is clearly You'd be wrong. idiocy. Like there's no way. It reminds me of that guy a few years back who was like, who faked his girlfriend's death, but most of his videos are like calling the tooth fairy at 3 a.m. Like nobody's supposed to believe this. J, J Station. Yeah, J Station. Yeah. I thought it was I a J, J Station. Station. Shout thing. out to J Station. I thought it was a J Station thing where only the dumbest person yeah. would think he's calling the, right? No. But then I realized that's when I started seeing the paper trail. A lot of victims of this 
type of behavior were giving this man money to help him take Serious. down other victims and to help other victims. And so the fact that Serious the, money. the fact that he was Serious lying, money. the fact that he was dramatizing, and even when called what, out what, by what Nick Serious money? and Mudahar, yeah, how much money are we talking? Minimum fourteen k a month. Wow. Minimum, and that's and that's it's probably more like twenty thousand. And he never caught a people. But go ahead. And he but, literally right, claims like in that. the phone call when when whenever I was trying to do their due diligence, I'll give it to Mudhar. I'll give it to Nick. I'll give it to you guys. You sure. guys do your due diligence, and I, I'm so proud you do. Um, and Nick proved that in his video beyond the shadow of a doubt. And they set him down mm. and they tried to talk to him. This guy said in interviews, this guy said on streams, oh yeah, I'm the reason that guy's in jail. The, the next getting at is like, okay, so you want to enact this change. What do you hope is the eventual result of your video? Okay. Of all this. So I know there's people out there saying I'm doing it to self-serve. I just want my video back up. I don't give a sh if my video comes back up. It did what it needed to do. The rapist that was in the video is per currently in police custody. And it was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. Right. He has never been to court. He has never helped a cop. He has never put a man behind bars. The best you could say is that if the people in his videos are not actors and they genuinely said the things they did, they genuinely did the things they did, then you are shaming them a little bit. But here's the thing. Since you lied about everything else, they now have an out. You've given them an out to say, actually, the entire thing is dramatized. I don't even know that guy. I never said that. I never did that. And because everything Mama Max has said has been a lie and has been proven to be a lie, he's even backpedaled on the lies. He's mm. now given those yeah, guys. I, th I think you got yeah. it. Is it. Oh, yeah, I think okay. you got it. I think for the most part, you, you've got it in a, in a conversational I'm way. I'm furious. I think I'm furious because I there's nothing worse th than an actual. I get, you know, claim that. Jordy gets claim. Whatever. I get it. I get our jokes, our remarks, our whatever, okay? But our actions have never, I would never, I would never, not in a lifetime. I'm not inclined to, nor do I have a desire to, nor would I ever do it even if I was. There's you just have a girlfriend that looks like that. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. She looks 20 to me. Just you, you, you and Kim are to me. just debating whose braces came off first. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, I'm I just apologize. gonna say, Go when you give ammo to these monsters, when you give clout to these monsters, when you give an excuse to these monsters, when you give anything to these monsters, you are the lowest of the low. And I believe that the only place for a pal is underground. And if you are helping pals, I think you need to be right there next to him. <laughs> uh, Wings, what was your take? <laughs> Dog, this guy is boring as fuck. Like that's 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 my take <laughs> on it. Like like they're supposed to be this werewolf cult. Right. Yes. And like the, the, it's ruled by like um, Camden, like Gerard Davis. Maybe I got his name. There you wrong. go. You got it. You got it right. I got it right. All right. Good. And like the, there's this the survivor who goes by the name of her name's Shelby, but she goes by Spencer. And Spencer yes. happens to know Mama Max from family. Living with him. Live, living with him. Well, by the way. she lives living with him with now, him. but like she knew him as she grew up. So like he. Correct. Correct. Mama Max takes her in and he's like, hey, since you're a dumb bitch that believed that werewolves exist and you wanted to join a sex cult, I'm going to give you access to the Patreon money and you're going to control it for me. You know, oh. and we're going to go take down this werewolf god. The the survivor is diddling out the uh, the the fourteen or the twenty k a month, and apparently other survivors of this werewolf cult couldn't afford diapers. And was online yes. begging for like twenty dollars and shit like that. Well, first off, I'm 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 by no Moon means fault. I'm, I'm I'm no means a father, but twenty dollars does not buy diapers, baby wipes, and eggs. Doesn't do it. It's a, no, to start if you don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying you're getting like what two yeah. diapers, a half a half six carton of eggs. <laughs> like good lord. But I just I just thought this was boring as hell. Like the whole video, the guy's yeah. a liar. You didn't like the video? Yeah, it, it's like yeah. it's like I'm the god cult. You guys need to retweet my videos. If you don't, you are at colossus with pals. We need to take down these werewolves. I'm like, who gives a fuck, dog? Well, you're missing you're missing um a big part, uh both of you. The, the only one part you kind of guys you missed was um if anybody questioned him. He would sick his rabid. I know you think it's boring, but a lot of people didn't. Um, his rabid fan base, and you would be up your neck. I, 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 PDF file. I, I tell you what, I'm missing yeah. the I, hour I, and thirty I, I minutes I watched that video back. Shit, that's what I'm yeah, missing. I, yeah. That, 
Yeah, you went. You he sicked his audience on you at one point. But I do want to yeah. say, but so like, I, one of the things I left out was the clout chasing. Is like it, Penguin Zero. If you don't help me, you're complicit in pedophiles. No, this dude turns out to be complicit in pedophiles, right? But at the end of the day, this you are the reason, Max, that people like Charlie have to be careful to move slow. You are the reason that people like Charlie have to ignore actual crimes and actual bad stuff because i i, I actually fraud. i i gotta be honest with you they know this guy I, I nobody has any excuse they, they knew this this guy was running this stupid uh, horror movie bullshit for years and nobody bothered to question except me um whether he was actually doing anything other than making horror movies well i think nobody did I that think all those and the moment i channels. did the moment i did uh he made a video saying i support um awesome. mr girl called into my show once and i uh, so did so did Vito, and that was his evidence. And uh, for the next couple of years, that's what I got got I got hit with. There was another guy that came up and found four, five girls that claimed they were abused by him, um, not uh, physically, mentally. I don't know, maybe physically. I'm not even 100 percent sure. And um, he went after that guy. This guy was an ex Obama intern, and he um, uh, they 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 outright accused him of being a dressing in a uh, school uniform only to go back to high school to hit on girls. There is literally no evidence that this happens. They never provided anything other than the testimony of, get this, Mama Max's sister. Haley's boyfriend, Magnetar on YouTube, the one who published this video on me. And they were they were they're were emailing his job and everything else. It was it was really really crazy. I want to want to say this: all the pedo fucking channels, like the pedo poachers and shit, like all those shits are fake. Yeah, they suck. All of them are they fucking suck. fake. Like I watched. I think we brought this up oh, before. Fake, but they suck. But like yeah. I'm a, I'm a very against EDP four four five and Skeeter Hansen Hansen Skeeter Hansen. Is that is that right? Chris Chris Hansen. No 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 the Skeeter Gene the the guy that's like he's mimics Chris Hansen. Oh, I never heard of him. No, okay. Well, he's a predator hunter, and like he had this chance. He had this like ex FBI agent coaching him how to get like the exact things they need to happen to get a case to prosecute EDP four four five. Went sat down and went through the book with him, and then they threw all that out the window and did what they wanted to do anyway: dress up as cupcakes, hit him with like the the pics and stuff like that that we get clicks on a fucking YouTube video. A lot of it's just I don't know. It's, most of it's just a big virtue signal. I don't like. Pet I hate pedophiles. Well, so does everybody else. And, like, I got one more question yeah. for his mama, Max, because I think this is boring as sure. fuck. But like this, this, sure. this Camden Davis guy, right? Who the fuck mm -hmm. is he? Is he real? We don't know. We don't know. Like, 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 I know this guy. I know but, the person but, but, has he, to be real. He's definitely real. We, we found driver's license and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't find them, but they, they popped But up. like, does he know he's that real. he's being considered a pedophile? We don't know. Leader? Like, because he, he know. might have we him a case. Well, I, I, yes, and I think Mudahar has been on record. If they don't find anything, um, he'd, he'd help him out. This guy hasn't spoken out though. Why would you? Like, this like you, you said, he he sicks all these people on him that will that have drank the Kool Aid. I think that if I was current Canon Gerard Davis and I didn't do anything, I'd ha I don't know if I'd come, come online, but I gotta figure I'd do something. I'd lose my job because like th this is the, like the stories are fucking dumb. Like like dumb. Like he he's trying to say this guy was eighteen, living with his mother while smuggling underage girls into his mother's house mm -hmm. as a werewolf cult god and feeding them saltine crackers and water and shit. it's like this is unbelievable like this is unbelievable that's all well here well then you ask yourself this then why did why did charlie and a lot of other people like i mean admittingly in fairness this crazy stuff is just his late his latest project I mean, the fact that anybody gave this guy the time of day in the first place is 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 what's so shocking to me. I mean, his his presentation is horror movie, and it's like supposedly a serious topic, and nobody, everybody. I think a lot of guys were afraid of him. Here's something you don't know, Boogie. He's and friends of mine too. He threatened people offline. I I need you to watch this video. I need you to support this, and it was all threats. I, I'm gonna tell. Um, I'm gonna tell you. Kind of like I'm gonna um, spit some facts to you right here. Mama Max will probably end up killing himself. Okay. I doubt it. I, I don't. I don't doubt it. it. It's not going to happen tomorrow. But like, just his personality yeah. alone, he's that type of dude. He's kind of like a, there's used to be a speedrunner guy, but like he has the same yeah, personality. He he seems like he's not mentally Apollo, all there. Apollo Legend. Apollo Legend. Yeah. He's, you say personality? Are you kidding me? <laughs> he had the same personality, okay. not not video wise. Like they didn't make the same content, but like the same behind the scenes wise that 
bigger than grandeur. I'm super important. I need this for my life. The same undertones are there. You didn't like Apollo, huh? I don't think Apollo was like that. That's not my impression of him, but maybe you knew him better than I did. I only interacted with him a couple times. And you didn't like him? I didn't get good vibes from him. I can't say I liked him or not. But like, like I said, I, I didn't know him that well. But like, I, I seen the same underlying vibes of Mamba Max. What do you see, Buggy? Do you see <laughs> Apollo Legend of Mamba Max? I mean, I, I, I didn't know Apollo Legend very well. But I, I will say one thing about Mamba Max. It, it, and you see this in a lot of YouTubers, and you saw it to me to some extent. So I'm probably being hypocritical when I call somebody else out on it. But so many YouTubers, um, but especially in this like social justice field, this justice field, reminds me of Hassan Piker as well. We would talk about him a little bit. Um, but but they become so self-important. I'm helping people. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the thing. I'm so important. I'm whatever. And that becomes so entire. It, it was a huge part of my self-worth for a long time. So I can only imagine when your mama Max, how important that is to your self-worth. And if you, if right? you do something like I do and like, call bullshit. What, if, they, if you're they, getting they, 20 they grand of fucking so I month. genuinely, I, I think Wings is right. I genuinely think this guy's about to eat a bullet sandwich at some point. Yeah, because he's going to get sued. Like he, he's going to, he's, he's so. going to get, well, he's like going to get, he's going to get he platformed. He could be get sued at some point. He's going to get a lot of backlash eventually because some of these people that he's sending out to attack, like you and other people, eventually they're going to turn on him. It's over. No, they already did. That's that's what that's the you know, shoe drop. Yeah, the shoe dropped and, uh, with Nick and his self actually his self important like cult leader status that he has because that seems like fucking like you know it's you know what it seems like to me. It seems like he's a fucking prosperity mm. preacher. You ever seen that? Shit? What's that? A prosperity that? preacher. What's that wing? It's like where they like a thousand dollars. Give me the seed, and God will give you great riches. You know, like they try yeah. to get old people to like sell that if they give them a thousand dollars on like a debit card or a credit card, that God will give them you know something twelve fold or something. Well, what like he that. did, what he did is he convinced he was really well connected, right? And he and um he convinced other YouTubers that he was doing something really important with those stupid videos. Don't ask me how, but that's what he did. And he would say, hey, can you help me go catch these pedophiles? Can you, can you cut a video for me? And he would take that video and put it in a completely different context that they didn't agree to in the first place. Nexpo claimed that he did it to him. Max will basically randomly DM you like, hey, do you want to be in a video? And I'm like, yeah, sure, dude, I'll be in a video. And he like sends me a script and he's like, read this. And I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, whatever. And then I see the whole context when everything's out. And I'm like, what the fuck? And they were very close friends. But all this stuff kept happening, and nobody nobody said boo. And and the people that did think it was bullshit, like, well, I'm not going to speak out because I don't want what happened to Tommy C or that guy Magnetar, and I don't want him to turn his audience well, Tommy, to me. Tommy, here's, here's the real question motherfuckers want to know. Do you think he's b***ing that Spencer chick? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you think when they're banging, you think he uses the God Colt voice? You think he's he like, has a girlfriend. He's, he's like, <laughs> yeah, take that <laughs> He has a girlfriend. I don't give a fact if he's got he, a girlfriend at all because, like, he's over here <laughs> laundering his survivor money to this chick and, like, pushing her YouTube channel. Like, yes. like everything points to that this is a mistress. Okay, if you say so. I Actually, most people, um, I'm not saying I go along with this, think that Camden Gerard Davis turned her down and this is, this. she filled Mama Max up with bullshit to get revenge. I turned her down, too. She looks like a pit bull. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be particularly bright or really have her story together all that much um they have i the, the, the thing at the end of the day and we can move on after this is 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 they when pressed they have no evidence and when you demand evidence they say talk to the victims well okay you have testimony but they have nothing besides that this guy hasn't come out uh, no other past. He has no victories, oh, no yeah. wins, no nothing. Yeah, where's Sonny Pablo But this at? went on. You got to remember, this went on for five years. We did the math. He had his all his Patreon. I had the amount of Patreon. It was like 2,000-something. And we did the math. At five fifty a month, he was making four, over 14 fat k So you got to figure a bunch of those donations are between 10 and 20 and above. So we think he's making anywhere from 19 to 20 k a month, literally doing nothing. It was a scam. It was a scam for clout. And people just assumed he was doing the right thing because he was against PDF files. And um, he ran the scam until it just kind of imploded on him. I, th I think what ended up happening, he was only making one video a year. And I think he started losing Patreons. So he gambled on attacking Charlie, most, most critical. And that backfired so, big time. So and he, that's when the first, that's, that's when the shoe dropped. When he, when, so, when, so he's, when Charlie he's told, banked $1.1 $1. $1 million yeah. dollars off a lie. Could, I, I suppose.
Yeah. Um, yeah. If, 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 he, if he was getting 14K the whole time, yeah. And he'll justify it by saying I was making sh little horror movies. No one ever was actually supposed to believe him. They were actually bankrolling my films, and I, I I'm not the reason. Uh, and he wasn't even making away them. with it. And that's why you know. I mean, then he'll eventually eat a bullet sandwich. I mean, he might be the he kind had, of he hadn't made a video. He hadn't he hadn't made a video in a year, right? And he made a 20 minute video on me. Part 20 minutes of that. Hour well, well, we, that means you know he had the ability to make that video. His schedule was empty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, that's what I think. I think he was smoke. I think he's playing video games, smoking pot all day. And when he, all right, six months, I got to spit something out to keep these these suckers going, and then we pour the money in because he's a talented editor. So, all right, I think we. I mean, like that. if, he, if he needs a job, we might have one for you. Well, I mentioned Hassan a minute ago because. <laughs> Say that about no, nah, God, we ain't doing that. We mentioned Hassan a minute ago, and I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, sure, you're sure. the YouTube guy, so I'm hearing rumors about Hassan sure. recording yeah. his reactions so he doesn't have to live stream. Is that a thing? So, so get this, get this. this is really funny. So he's taken a lot of shit and a lot of people have done commentary videos on him that he kind of abuses fair use. So, in other words, he'd be reviewing a Boogie Two Nine Eighty video. And then instead of commentating on it, he'll just get up and take a leak and not come back. Pokemane's been accused of this as well. So he's taken so much for this, swore up and down that he would stop doing it, right? He would actually pause the video, um, but he never did. So recently what he does is when he has to take a leak, he pushes a button. So it looks like he records something earlier in the same outfit and he pushes a button and then it goes like over his camera and it looks like he's still reacting to whatever he's watching but he's really taking a leak he's gotten up that's how far he won't pause the video that's how far he took it so yeah he's he might be on something uh, there he, yeah it's pretty so he basically he gets he takes I mean, a video I, of him just kind of nod of his head like, like, like i never thought about and that then he leave, and he leaves and he leaves the stream well, yeah, that would be fair use funny. though right because he's still technically no he's still, no he's not there at all i i don't well i, I don't mean know. like no he's still technically critiquing like the video regardless if he's actually live no, it's, doing he's it. not saying anything wings he's just nodding his head right like a moron. right but yep. like did, did they did they justify a head nod and something like that actually be no I don't think so. I'm not a lawyer, but shit, man. Like, like, like but, uh, it's the bare minimum, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah, do you ever, do you ever think about recording gameplay and then? No, no. no the I was, I was sitting there thinking about re just like posting like one of your fucking videos up and then go and watch a Game of Thrones or some shit while the stream was up. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you record yourself for playing for three hours and then um just stream the then um just restream it every on, time uh, I want to like. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I need to, I need to shield these motherfuckers out. Let me go and upload this video. <laughs> yeah. You know, the only yeah. time I ever heard of Son Piker is when he bought that fucking house and everybody made a big deal about it. Yeah. What what would he pay something like like two point six million or something like that? Or I don't know though. It was, it was serious money. It's a mansion. It, it serious, was like serious yeah. money. And like he's supposed to be like this left wing commentator and about like social no, medicine. The, and here's the problem. Like it's not that he's a left wing commentator. He doesn't want everybody else to have a nice big house, just him. <laughs> That's, I think that that's the problem. With like, like, what's the point of having yeah. like, like? First off, if I was a left wing commentator, I wouldn't live in fucking California. Yeah, <laughs> because like, their stuff is stupid expensive. Yeah, but most of them like to sit with them. Like, they like to be with each other. You know, those elitists. They like to hang around. Well, I'm, not a, I'm be, a left wing. Not gonna be, and I live in Red. They're South not going to be, and they're not coming. To, all right, you're a left wing guy, but they're not coming to Bumpkinville to live with you. Yeah. They want to like uh, clink wine glasses with their own well, the, but, lame. People well, that's in LA, it's yeah. stupid. Like I've always say, stated this: if you're going to be left wing and you want to move out of an expensive left wing state like California or New York City, move to a swing state. He could have went and bought a house in a swing right? state for a fraction of the yeah, price. Ohio, fraction exists. of the price. Florida yeah, but then he's got to live next door to you. That's the problem because they hate. Here's the thing about these left wingers that you don't know because I'm a Yankee and none of you guys are. They hate you. They hate rural people. They hate you. Maybe that's where I'm, that's really, where I'm good. You, I grew up Republican, and then I switched to left wing later on in life. So, yeah, like, I like people. Yeah, but they, they hate you. They, as soon as you open your mouth, they hate your guts. These these Not every – I'm not saying every liberal, but the, the type of guy that Hassan is, yeah. That but would my plan lefty, make more sense than, than to buy a – million dollar it's mansion in making california sense. Do, you think these, do you think these idiots believe in what they're talking about they all just want political power power on twitch even even, be even better to move do. to a swing state it gives you more political power it gives you more voting mm. power at the end of the day i Go think ahead. most extremists uh and i wouldn't say hassan is like horribly extremist but still a bit of an extremist he's extremist 
He's an um, extremist. He laughed at a cop getting shot. Yeah, man. but he's, he's, pretty he's probably not going to kill anybody in the name of left wing ideology. No, no, but right, his his know? views are he, he's a communist for Christ's sake. He wants to kill more people than Hitler. But I, I like to think when <laughs> it, I think when it comes to left wingers and right wingers, anybody on the extremes, I have to go to bed at night believing they are full of shit. I have to go to bed at night believing that they do not drink their own Kool Aid because if they do, the world's way more up than i think it is oh, some of them do well, well, and some of them are just like, you know like it's kind of like alex streamers. jones yeah. though right like like i look at alex jones when he's on like joe rogan and be like i could hang out with that dude but when he's on his own <laughs> f-ing show I, no no i know what you mean you know it's like it's like he, like know. alex jones would get like a cool ass motherfucker until he's doing yeah. his his f-ing right wing sh- shillings the demons the demons yeah it's like I, the show oh, you know, the show's gonna be know, on here for another half hour if we don't get these donations when i was in my 20s <laughs> you know what's so weird about jeff Lowe, when i when i was my 20s he was a left-wing guy because he was anti-react and now he's far right they say i think he's just i don't think he's left or right i think he's alex jones <laughs> like that's what I, think. I, I i'm fully convinced alex jones doesn't give a fuck about politics and he's milking it oh yeah he so? i mean he admitted I that in court that. he admitted that in court and it's an act. He yeah. did say something like it's yeah. an act. But he might have admitted that in court because it's the best way not to pay a billion dollars. Well, he still owes <laughs> a billion dollars. I don't know how. Like, when you, when you hit somebody with a billion dollar charge, I expect to get that. It's like they gave they, somebody they don't. 875 years him. for prison. Like, they're just trying to censor him. They're trying to ruin him. That's no, what they're doing. No. Yeah, he's not, they're not going to get that money for him. I mean, like, when they do, like, a court order, like, uh, like um, garnishment of his, like, wages. Yeah, but they can't ground us 100%. It's like debtor's prison. It's supposed to be unconstitutional. Yeah, I'm debtor, debtor's debtor's prison is really alive. I, I miss yeah. Alex Jones. I don't like seek out. If you get divorced, content. is. <laughs> I miss Alex so, I'm Jones. Sorry, I don't seek out Alex Jones anymore, so I don't see him anymore. Yeah. Only is like all over the place. And just the stupid, outlandish he said was hilarious, right? I mean, it's He's some a of it was hell of an entertainer. Yeah, borderline you got to You guys, you're, you're in it. You, you did, a, you know. Uh, you're a YouTube entertainment. You went through all that. He is really good at this. You got to give him. Yeah. Oh, he is fantastic really at it. it. Yeah, he really is good. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree with much that he has to say. I think he's nuts, right? And I think he's also appealing to a certain dynamic that's not me. But uh, he got, for entertainment purposes, the guy's a riot. Yeah, I think I his mean, best video is when he was drinking that chocolate bone broth. You know, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the chocolate bone broth? He's like bigging it up. It's like, oh, it's vitamins. It gives you better. Fights osteoporosis. You know, and then he, then he like takes a sip of it. He's like, and he could barely stomach this shit. <laughs> it's like, I think he, I disagree with Boogie. I think he believes in what he's saying. I just don't know if he always knows what he's saying. You know, I will say one <laughs> no. thing. A lot of people remember he was doing that. They're turning the freaking frogs gay, right? Did you yeah, know yeah. that was actually true? Yes, I did. And in fact, it, like, it's not Who true that they're gay. It's that frogs can change their sex, their yeah. gender, yeah. and the, the chemicals in the water he was claiming was getting more frogs to flip to one particular gender, which affected the f- frog population. It was, I, I couldn't believe it when I heard yeah. it. There was yeah, some yeah. truth to what he was they, they saying. Made a movie, like, they made a movie about guy. this. It's yeah. called Jurassic Park. Oh, I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all female, right? They're all female, no, and they I, had frog think, DNA to fill in the wrong, code. Boogie? Am I wrong? It, it, do, do I have the that, gist of the story? That's what I read. I and then I, I again, yeah. I'm no scientist. I wasn't out there checking frog genitalia. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell a mother story? A my guy. mother is a f- Alex Jones info warrior. Is she? Yeah, oh, and like, I remember Lord. one time she called me and she was in a panic, like in a panic state, like breathing hard, heavy, full on panic oh, attack. Boy. And you know what it was about? She read a story about Jade Helm. And for those of you who don't know what Jade Helm is, Jade Helm was like this thing that Alex Jones was promoting on InfoWars where they were going to turn Walmarts into concentration camps for Christians. Like they were going to put barbed wire on top of Walmarts and start funneling Christians into the Walmart. He says stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. It's like, that. I'm like, I'm like, mom, this shit ain't real. Like this is never going to happen. The United States is a Christian nation. I mean, like vast majority of the presidents that's ever sat in the country have been Christian. The first five were deists, but everybody else has been a Christian, even Obama. Supposedly. 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 And that dude is not Muslim. Like he had Christian, <laughs> like Christmas trees in really? the White House. He's fucking, that's, why, that's why he always bowed till he saw Weren't you leaders. in the military under Obama? <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Wait, did Bush bow to Saudi leaders? I'm sure I've seen that. He bowed to them. Yeah. Yeah. He also got fucking shoes thrown at his bitch ass. Yeah. Oh no, Bush, Bush, Bush. Yeah, Bush yeah, no, yeah. Bush. Obama bowed to them, and 
I saw, I, about the book. Haven't I seen Bush um, bowing to the same people? Because I saw like no, a critical. No, he's, they shake hands. He's, he's a he's not a Muslim. He shook. Dude, they it, shake hands. It, it, I remember. I, I remember when Obama bowed to the Saudi king. He looked surprised. Saudi king looked kind of miffed. Like, what are you doing? Normally we shake hands, and it was really weird. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'll go as far as to say uh, every politician is a liar, a snake, a piece of human garbage, and I believe I that agree. anybody who supports one of these uh, politicians is a fool. So, well, I want to I, I want to put a caveat here, and I might look like a ass doing this. I don't think Bernie Sanders falls in that category. Oh God, he's a <laughs> he had he had his his wedding in Moscow when it was still fucking red, dude. Right? Did you know that? I did know yeah, that. Yeah, like those are commie, the communists, man. They killed more than the Nazis. <laughs> Well, they killed more. They killed themselves more than they killed Nazis too. But regardless, yeah, yeah, yeah they did. But they, he, actually, but he's true. he's yeah. had a long track record of being anti-war, you know, and total authoritarian. Not total authoritarian. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't worry. It's, yeah, it's, it's just like all, all when you go that far left, you're, it's, it's like it's, it's like a certain level of right where you go where you you turn into a, like a crazy. I'm just saying he'd be better. In and Joe, same way with Biden, because if Joe Biden bowed to the fucking Saudi, probably leader, I, he'd fall I, out. I might give you that. Yeah, I might give you that. Yeah. But um. Like he's not, he doesn't have dementia as far as I know. Yeah, but, but it doesn't matter. Trump's going to win here soon anyway. Cause like, yeah, you think? yeah, yeah here, here's, the here's the reason. Let me, here's the reason. Okay. Democrats are sitting on the laurels. They're not going to go out and vote in the numbers they did to get Trump out of the white house. Trump voter base is invigorated because they feel like the election was stolen. And so they're going to vote in, in much larger numbers than they did the last election. And when Trump wins, he's going to push this narrative that, you see, it was rigged, but you guys showed up to a force. They couldn't even outrig it, you know, some shit like that. And he's going to try to, like, mm. pardon the January 6th people. And it's going to be interesting. I'm all, I'm, I'm all for it. You really? <laughs> what are you about you, Boogie? Where are you about I mean, this? I voted for Biden last time. There's a 0% chance I'll vote for him again. I, you know, oh, really? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, whether I legally can vote by then or not, because we're supposed to get all this stuff sealed or whatever, but uh, there's no way. I, I would rather throw Are you convicted my felon? Are you, you're, are you a convicted felon? It's kind of like a weird thing. There's a lot of... It's, uh, in March, it all gets sealed. I don't think you can vote, And buddy. I think I'll be able to vote after that. I'm, think I, 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 I think... Oh, oh, they could... I think, they could, they could, I, I think it's bullshit downgraded. that they um, don't allow felons to vote. You think so? One hundred percent. Well, one, they don't want them to vote because they'd obviously vote against what got them put in felonies and shit like that. They feel like their views are sure. skewed. But like at the end of the day, mm. they're still Americans. They still have their right to opinions. And like every every person out there that's committed crimes that didn't get caught can vote. Why can you not vote? Like you should still get your I don't say. know. I don't know the constitutionality of that. Can, I always wondered about that myself. So I do think it can be reviewed because I have another felony felonious friend who told me he got his right to vote back. But I don't know what his circumstances are, and even if I can, they downgrade the charge to like, can it be felony for a couple of years and then Maybe? eventually downgrade it? Maybe I don't. Yeah, know. I, I, I just I, I, I don't I, think you. I I don't think you vote. I just like, I, I don't get in trouble. Yeah, like, like, funny I'm not going to it'd, be, it'd, it'd, it'd be really funny if you went in and you tried to vote for Trump or something. You end up doing time yeah. because you legally vote. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I had a I had a desk I was going to get made one time, and Woody was supposed to help me make the desk. The guy on PK, and I had a friend. Yes, I know you. And I had a, had a friend. That wanted to come help us because, you know, try to get more labor because the friend was a carpenter most of his life. But he got he went to jail for 10 years because he got caught with a felonious amount of because he was selling weed to all the people on his construction crew. So instead of like them going him paying the construction crew to buy weed, and they go buy weed from their plugs, he would be like, yo, you can buy it straight from me and get his money back. So he got caught doing that and he went to jail for 10 years. He got back out and Woody would not let this man in his house because he was a felon. Like and I'm like. Really? It's puzzled me because, like, I know so many fucking felons. Like Boogie, Boogie is not a dangerous felon, even though, like, in the in the books, he's a he's got a felony for a violent <laughs> did, crime. Did, he was did very Woody, dangerous for that one day. That one. Did day. Woody kind of grow up? Saw like, what did the guy do again? I just want to before I criticize Woody. He um, he sold marijuana to people in his his like. Okay, all right. Group. So so he did some like okay. He was trafficking so, did, drugs. Did Woody did Woody kind of grow up soft? Because he I grew mean, up a count like son and stuff like that. He was yeah, su yeah super right. cushy. Well, like. well, yeah. yeah, super white, super okay. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. I've used weed. Uh, I got my medical card and I used it for uh, edibles and stuff like that. It's it's helped. I I grew up hating. Weed. I thought it was the lowest of the low. The only people that I knew that ever smoked weed were like trash human beings, right? And uh, you know, I mean, you can say you can say oh, the same boy. thing about Miller Lite, though. Oh, that's true too. I've also grew up thinking less of people who drink. If I'm being honest with you, 
Um, and then like later in life, I just wasn't around it because I was around a bunch of video game nerds and a bunch of Magic the Gathering Dungeons Dragons nerds. And occasionally you'd have that burnout, but he just was never ended up being part of my group. And it occasionally you got the Magic the Gathering. They don't smoke weed. Not, the Magic the not, Gathering not the ones that I hung I mean, out with. There's always like, are you kidding there's always at least one or two. Crazy. The D&D crowd like has two. a lot of burnouts. Dude, you're getting yeah. together to do cardboard math. You need to have your wits about you if you're going to sit around and do your cardboard wits. math. <laughs> you know? I'm going to get embarrassed. <laughs> Dude, I used to play D&D with a guy named Smokey, which he's fucking weird as hell now. Like, he'd, like his whole profile is like anime women. But <laughs> he was always fucking <laughs> high at the D&D session. We'd just help him with his math. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. I'll roll it for you. I mean, D&D is a whole other thing. It's, it serves you to be a little high to play D&D, I guess, because it's a game of the imagination. You're playing Mad at the Gathering. You're doing cardboard math, right? You, you, you're you going to need to solve some equations today. But I will say, I watched this old TV show, and I do recommend it. I think you can find it for free on YouTube. It's called Penn and Teller's Bullshit. And they, Ooh, good yeah, show. Great, yeah, great, show. great show. Great show, right? Uh, and most of it stands the test of time, most of it. Uh, but their yeah. episode on changed my mind about the drug because I learned that it was a medicine. It could be used as a medicine. And uh, I can believe we are putting people in jail for uh, using a medicine that helped them. You have enough of it, you're going to do some serious... Dude, they character. have a, such a good, like, bush wall segment on there. And like, how much did he get busted with 10 years? That's a long time. How much... Oh, I don't remember the actual weight, but, like, he, he told me, like, he had, like, this big coffee table and the whole coffee table was full. Like, it was pounds and, of and, it. And what did... It, and what did what he wanted? To, what did he want? What did you want him to do at Woody's house? And he wouldn't let what him he was going to help me build a table. He, he, I paid this man to do my desk, and he messed up on the epoxy because I wanted glass epoxy on the desk. Because okay. I was I was asking for a custom built desk. I went and bought all the wood, the epoxy, and I paid him a sump of money because he needed. He asked me for money. I'm like, I don't want to hand you money. I'd much rather pay no, for no, a no, service. No, 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 no. You, you're not answering. You're yeah. going well, off. Well, regardless, I, want, I, I was going to have him come with me to help with the desk because, okay. like, he was the original builder of the desk, and like, it would also divvy up the labor because we had to clear all the epoxy and shit off. And so like, he was going to carry it into Woody's house. That's it. And help fix the epoxy. And fun fix the epoxy, and then the Woody wouldn't allow that because he, he, he didn't want to fail in his house. Ago. Right. How old was the guy? How old was he when he was out of prison? Oh, he was in his sixties at this point. <laughs> like he, he, he like he's been thirty years out of prison at that he point. He wouldn't let a sixty-year-old man because he got a weed charge. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't even a violent Jericho. felony. It was yeah. fucking a trafficking charge. <laughs> <laughs> Woody's afraid he's gonna come into the house and s light up a doobie. Oh, yeah, let a doobie oh. and hand it to his kid. But he might do that because, like, when we because I I met him when I worked at Domino's. Well, if he might do that, if he actually would have done that, no. Then, well, he he did like then, he, then Woogie's in the right. I he thought, like he I like to do like trucker ridiculous. speed and shit like that to like stay up. But like he was still a level headed dude. Like, I wonder if there's something missing to this story. I can't. No, no, there's really nothing. I'm absolutely, there's nothing missing in this story. Right. First hand account, like. I I I worked I with him at Domino's when I was younger. I want to bring my friend over. He's at sixty years old. He's uh, he's a real nice guy. Certainly, but he did he did do some time like twenty years ago. He did ten years for weed. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like I can understand. Like, he's not babysitting your kids. He's like helping you put a, a desk together. <laughs> oh God. And it's not like he's unsupervised. Like Woody is supposed to be like this MMA champion, like level fighter, and it's like. Oh. You got a sixty-year-old man that's overweight. You could take him. I guarantee, Woody. Like if he got he got hostile, I guarantee yeah. you could take him. That's so funny. So unless there's something you're leaving out, that's really funny. When let the old man help you out with it. No, it sounds like classic Woody. The reason I was saying the reason I grew up uh, like you don't like Woody. I, I wanted to give. You don't like Woody. I, I like Woody. I, I do. Yeah, I like Woody. I don't. I, well, I mean, I like his. I like his. I don't product. dislike I don't Woody, but in my ex limited experiences with the guy, he seems particular he seems to be a particular person can i say this about particularly Woody? lame particularly boring particularly <laughs> i want to put this on Jesus. i want to put this on record because woody recently on his podcast painkiller already stated that he fell out in the bathroom and when he woke up he had a seizure and That's instead scary. of telling his wife and going to the doctor he told his podcast so i reached out to woody okay. and i want to want to read what i reached out and to you like what do you do you lecture him <laughs> no, I'm just, i'll read it i go I, okay. I go, hi, Maybe, yeah. I don't know the full story, but I'm reaching out to you, suggest being open with your wife about health and consider going to a PCP. <laughs> Life is too short to take chances, especially as we get older. <laughs> Much love. He's none of your business. Oh, we, no, you still love him. Well, I I'm just saying, him. like, Jordan, I, I, I just want to put it out there that I, I that I did reach out to Woody 
saying mm. that he should go to a doctor if you're passing oh, you're out heavy sleep. Jordy, I love what a good person you are, but I, every time it's I hear you. a fat man lecturing somebody else about their health, it yeah, yeah, I, that's not a lecture. It's one hundred percent not a lecture. That I mean, I, I guess it could be construed as a lecture, but like, yeah, <laughs> it, uh, yeah I like, would. I could drop like, a heart attack right now, though. but you need to take your health seriously, Woody. <laughs> well, you should be truthful to your wife and your doctor. Hey, Woody, I mean, do what the true. fuck you want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. <laughs> do Just whatever. don't smoke any weed. Just don't, don't smoke any weed. <laughs> Dog, you don't remember that dude in Chicago that was like the health nut, and then like he ended up having a fucking heart attack on a jog? Like, you, well, nobody's immortal here. Is it, what was the name? Yeah, Jim Fix. Jim Fix, yeah. He was like, Mr. Rye, quit smoking. I'm a runner guy. <laughs> and he just dropped dead out of nowhere. <laughs> it's the, like funniest part, the funniest part uh, about Woody judging somebody else for weed is the fact that the last time I listened to the podcast, I'm 90% sure I heard an ad for that Delta 8, Delta 9 garbage. <laughs> oh, like yeah. He's literally I peddling it. He's, you're selling it, man. I can't remember this guy's name. He's a black guy. He used to, I used to, my dad listened to Rush Limbaugh when he was growing up, right? And he used to sub in for Rush Limbaugh. And this, this woman called in the show and she starts yelling at this. He was a black conservative. I cannot remember his name. I don't think he's alive anymore, which is, which is kind of makes the story even funnier. He said, um, this woman comes and starts lecturing. I'm like, why do you drink? Why do you smoke? Why do you do this? You're not a good example for kids. And he says, lady, why put a pink lung on the ground? <laughs> I thought that was the greatest <laughs> reply ever. And if you think about it, because your body is to be used up. What do you know? We, we, you want a healthy lung? You know, you want it, you want it, you want it, no, you want it used up with 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 cigar smoke and great whiskey. I'm like, I love this guy. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's, it's kind of the same point I make because people lecture me for being fat all the fing time. And I'm like, yeah. you can go hit your calisthenics and lift your weights and shit like that. Then you get hit by a fucking bus. Hey, Tommy, I got another thing I wanted to bring up. Have you seen Pokemon out there lecturing people about gambling on Twitch right now? That's a great question, but you're an absolute idiot to think that gambling is only being advertised to adults only when it's being live streamed on Twitch.tv. Maybe you're slow. But I say that with such genuine authenticity. Yeah, she's, I don't think it's so much she's like, I mean, she's certainly, in, she's like entitled to feel about gambling the way she feels about gambling. But it's, it, it really, most people think that's not where her values are. It's really about like other YouTubers that take those sponsorships, make a lot more money than she does. Well, and every so often the mask kind of slips. There's this clip of her out there telling any, you know, it's basically, you're just stupid if you don't agree with me. I'm. You know, I'm well, kind of a, that, I'm, that's being no, that, very vague about what she said because what she said, yes, is, yes, I am. I, what, what she said was that you got to be, you got to be extre extremely dull if you don't believe that children will see it at the same time that adults will on Twitch, which Twitch is mainly geared toward children who have time to watch video game streams. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, and and then she finished off with, oh, maybe you are slow that's not really good for the girl who sells herself as the girl yeah, next like whether door. you she sound like she's she's just being a karen that's kind of my point yeah you're she's right yeah, well, all right yeah i'll give you that i'll give you that boogie well, or up well, wings well, she, she's right she's right yeah, whether you but agree she's, with her like, or she's selling her, her she's selling herself and yeah, and she's, yeah, yeah i she, think we've all learned done, about hopeflation let, no, let me finish let me finish let me finish like she she's selling herself as somebody who is the girl next door and is really sweet, and you're not allowed to agree to disagree. In fact, if you do disagree with her, she you're you're an idiot. And the really truth is, she's she's coming up on thirty and her acts wearing thin. Yeah, well, she, yeah. she's I mean, just intelligent. She is the definition of either a female lol cow or fem cell, or I don't know what you call that type of person, but she is business woman. She's one of the most That's what you call unlikable that. human beings I've ever if seen. If you know, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you if you don't buy into the same thing, she there's there's really like like I, I have no doubt she works hard. I don't think she has like a low IQ or anything. No. Um but I think she's just a vicious businesswoman. Money's everything to but her. Money's the bunny line who's with turning her. Turning into their stream to watch her talk down to people like you watch guys her that a want to fetish? date her. Guys that want mm. to feel like they're talking to the girl next door. They need that. That's who it is. Yeah, but like, they, like, 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 why did you pay? I don't know. How, what you pay to hundred grand for hookers? Same reason guy people listen. Well, at least I got yeah, a but lady. Is, but, at least but, I got but, lady. Like, at least he yeah. got the f girls for that hundred grand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't have that kind of money to piss away. I they mean, just like, want to like, like they'll, they'll, they'll book that, uh, enough. Weren't we supposed you know? to get that guy who dropped like two hundred thousand dollars on like OnlyFans chicks and they couldn't even get a hug from one of them? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember that? That bitch is like, like looking like Keanu Reeves over here, not trying not to touch homeboy with the hug. Like she gave him like the side hug without touching. Yeah, that's too funny. But now, P- Pokey Mane, when you see her, she's just a kind of intolerant Karen like elitist. And the older she gets, I think more people are kind of seeing it. I, but, hope, she, I, mean, I hope she's good yeah. with her money so she'll end up sucking d- on porn. I'm up. sure she is. I don't think she's stupid. No. Right. But I, I don't think like she's supposed to be the nice girl that you could look at. She doesn't have to take her clothes off. She, she really rubs that in people's faces. And really, she's not like th- th- there's she's really a, just as shallow and, as they come. And I do want to you know, I do want to say like, and the whole thing's an act. I get that both know. of you guys are saying uh, gambling, you know, advertising gambling to kids is bad. Number one, have you played Fortnite? Have you played any of these games with loot boxes? Oh, I didn't say that. I don't care. I don't care Did one way or another. I'm a boxes out of Fortnite. I think they are now, but I mean, the, yeah. at, at the end of the day, Video there's games still so really many gambling mechanics and so many different games. Every other mobile game ha- is a gotcha mm. game now. People love them. People eat them up. Yeah. Okay, we're advertising. I played Magic the Gathering. I watch kids open Pokemon cards. Uh, I watch kids open Magic packs. That all of this is that. All of this is that. And so, you know, at least they're making some effort on kick at least they're making some effort on twitch to say hey this is adult gambling you need to stick with pokemon packs until you turn 21 i suppose i i don't really give a shit because i've had no problem monitoring my my kids online stuff and if i thought it was going too far i would just step in my, my- people want to make i mean i had pogs when i get the, there's been gambling around since i was a child too. kids like to gamble the- uh, kids everybody like to likes games. to gamble yeah, and, and and I, I can see where people are being concerned about like kids getting hooked on it and stuff early but i gotta be honest it was around when i was a kid my parents were a kid there's all sorts of pogs i think when you throw them on the ground um kids playing jacks for money it's been around forever i really don't give a shit i'm not gonna tommy's over here rolling and if if i'm and and somebody always brings up oh my god you know somebody spent like a two thousand dollars on fortnite that's my fault not my kids if you've walked my fault you walked into a dave and busters a chuck e cheese a locomotion a whatever you've got in your neighborhood they're playing gambling games for yeah the claw the claw's gambling too that's at every walmart like you can't live in a world and have not have an expectation their child will be exposed to some level of gambling at this point and if they have the bug they're gonna have it now i think end of the day i do want this taken out of my video games and i'm going to criticize the game that puts it in there Fair enough. right uh but that's just because i don't want it in the game i'm not doing it for the reason that's of different. protect the kids protect the kids protect the kids sure I, I leave that i leave that up to the parent now you know uh but sure. yeah it's my my it's my i thank you it's my response yeah, so my, my, yeah, my I, big I, I, thing like, with the twitch gambling is they're being dishonest with it yeah, that's a different story too. I could get, I could probably get on the. Oh thing, yeah, right? no, like, they, like yeah. Syndicate, like Syndicate, well, <laughs> not like Syndicate. Like for example, like they will give like streamers here's twenty thousand dollars of in-house credit, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and they pretend it's their own money that they're gambling to get uh, other people yeah, yeah, to go yeah. gamble when they're actually losing that's nothing and they're getting a fat check on the end of it. It doesn't bother me unless it's fixed for them to get a big victory. It is fixed. Like it is one hundred percent. That's fixed. that I got a problem with. But the fact that they give them money to play, if they give them money to play, and the odds are the same for them as everybody else, it's not. It's fixed. Um, it's fixed because they want yeah, them fixed. to see it's it fixed. win. All right, I do have a problem. They with that, want to yeah. see them win, and not every casino is like this. But the ones I'm 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 aware of do fix the game for the streamer. So like he's going to lose, but he's going to get a big win. Yeah, you get it all back. I mean, I'll, yeah, it's a, I'll always hammer this home illegal. every time we get a chance because I hope somebody out there will listen to the... I'm right about one thing. I'm wrong about most, but I'm right about one thing. The world is way more corrupt than you think it is. The world's way more fake, way more BS, way more lie. It just You genuinely have to be careful in this world. There are genuinely bad people out there. You think I'm bad, Wings bad, Tommy bad, whatever. You ain't got no idea. We don't even scratch the surface of the kind of evil that's actually out there. <laughs> I, I got something to protect you. You think I'm bad, just wait till a as your kid and tells you, you can't see it. I that's happened to me, yeah. but I won in court. I'm just yeah. saying, but they some evil motherfuckers that around your. I it. Happened to me. It happened to me. It happened to <laughs> is it not? Is it not up, to me. Tommy? That's why I'm in. Yeah, that's why I'm in Germany. That's probably the only reason I'm in Germany. It's de- like uh, they tried to pull a whole scam, and then uh, the army got me something called the European out, and uh, I stayed, and uh, all my Iraq money went to lawyers. Every dime I made, but I got my daughter, kinda, <laughs> you know. I got. I went to court. I lost all my money, and then next thing I knew, she was a teenager, and she's like, "F you, Dad." Oh. <laughs> yeah. so, At least you had yeah, the principle. I, look, I got remarried. I'm really happy. Right, I, right, right, right. But my yeah. point stands. Like, like there's evil it's people awful. in this it's world. It's an awful. Pl- it, it, it was really vindictive. It's like look what my, it did. My, look what it did to you. It probably took most of your youth. 
fighting this case with your daughter. I all did the age. Money. I, I, I did age. I did start aging and a lot of the stuff for sure. Yeah. Well, aging, you took your took time. It, you could have been doing other things like being. No, I, I started getting like, like I had a pretty much a baby face until I was like 39. I really, really started putting years on. No, have, the, you, have you ever seen your yeah. clips from Baited when you were bald headed as shit? Yeah, yeah. You really That's benefit of yeah, getting really older. Sweet. You look way much, but you look way better now than you did. Yeah, on I, think I, do too. I, I think I I think I do too. I think I do too. But too bad, like I'm married now. I can't even use it. <laughs> yeah, two two more things. Number one, uh, I, I, last week I was reading the comments, which I know I'm not supposed to do ever. Uh, but somebody did say that they liked the fact that we're talking about video games. So I did want to give a recommendation to Power World, which is Pokemon with guns. But I think a, an interesting way to talk about it is. They basically have gotten as close to legally copyrighted, like fringing, just a barely avoiding copyright infringing the Pokemon. Uh, the characters that you can Nintendo gonna game. sue somebody. Well, no, turns out <laughs> Nintendo has actually sued a couple of modders for putting Pokemon in it, but Nintendo is pretty well aware that they can't sue. And I don't think they want to in this case because this was a Game Pass game. And so I think Microsoft is signing fully on board. I think they would back them, they would like the legal battle. Um, this game is a lot of fun. It's really good. It's in early access. So you got to deal with all the issues, but this is another, just like Harry Potter last year. This is this year's Harry Potter game. We are devolving so. into death threats for the developers. Could you imagine good. threatening to kill someone because you want to protect Nintendo's copyright yes. over an electric How dare they? rat? <laughs> Who cares? How dare they? You're willing to commit a felony and go to prison to protect Nintendo. I love my Pokemon. Oh my god. I love Pokemon god. and I will defend it to the death. Because someone <laughs> drew an electric rat that's uh, old. Got an Uzi instead of reminiscent. A bolt. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a <laughs> shit? You Chris, people Christian are had crazy. A, Christian, Christian had, had made a heart somebody for that. <laughs> yeah, because you say so because Sonic shoes were wrong. No, no, his arms were a different color. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, Sonic's arms no. are supposed to be blue and they turn yeah. to brown or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I got to be honest with you, Boogie. Yeah, it's not really a big surprise to me. These people are wacky. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it's, it's, cra it's crazy how many Chris Chans there is out there. There is how it's surprising it really how is. many genuinely yeah. nutty, nutty people. Because we're going to talk about Keemstar for a second. Keemstar always tell me, what is it with everybody with their mental health and shit? What is one of that or whatever? And I'll admit, a lot of us, including myself, have used it as an excuse sometimes because I like to eat because I'm fat, because I'm lazy. I'm trying not to do that no more, but I have, right? But I do not doubt for a second, Keem, that there are genuinely nutty, nuttier than fruitcake people out there, including Keemstar. Because now oh, he's yeah. all about this UFO sh**. Well, what I want to confront him on the I want to confront him on the live show on this. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I don't like. I do not doubt that we've been visited. I'll give you full credit. No, no but I, you're an idiot. <laughs> Come on now. You don't think so? Hell really? No. You don't think we've we, I, we have never been? Visited. You know, I I kind of used to be like that, but you know, the U.S. military is. I mean, they're they're coming clean, and I know the British military came clean around 2010. Yeah, they couldn't hide the a woman. Military. They couldn't hide a woman sucking the president's. Dick. You think they're going to be hiding a fucking UFO? Oh, I don't know what. Look, I don't Here's know what. The thing, like, Tommy, but, I like, mean, they, they, the military is pretty much coming clean now. It's a little tough to. Um, I don't know if everybody's. You know, they're getting the probes and getting kidnapped, but you know, the military. Mo they don't know major what, They don't know what they're looking at. Clean. Just like we're not. It's like that day of Lazar. Sure. Like here's the thing. Uh, Reason we haven't been visited by anybody the same reason we haven't visited anybody, right? Because it's in far, right? Like the closest star uh -huh. is like what twenty eight point six light years away. Yeah, it's pretty. And far. it's like you get you literally have to have a generational starship to make it there because like one person's lifetime is not enough. That's based off the science you currently know. That's based off the physics right the we physics that we explain currently a micro trip to somebody a hundred years ago, dude. You, we don't right, know, we right, don't but also, but the, the, the fact is, barely it, dabbling with a you know why they, you know why they call them light years, boogie, because light years isn't oh, a time, isn't, isn't time, it's distance. And Einstein and it's how says far, the, it's, it takes Einstein how many of our current years to travel that distance. So it takes twenty eight point six years at the speed of light, which we can't for travel light. the speed yes, of light. Yes, for light to travel that way. But again, once you get into the quantum realm, you're messing with a whole bunch of other things. You're talking about and like again, a bent horizon, like we're ripping that's the black holes science. open. That's the current science. I I don't know what a black hole is. Do you? Have you been through one? Nobody I have not. I'm so still far. here. Right. 
So but like the is, fact is, we is don't is know like, what happens with the black hole. We don't know what happens if you open a wormhole. We don't know if you can fold space time. We don't know. We don't know. We're still. You have to stay open to this stuff. And if if, <laughs> if there no listen, if there's an alien race that could have existed longer than us, they could have figured more of this out. They could be more intelligent than us. Yeah. And, and let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you what this fun. mother will look at. He'll pop in right next to the moon. You'll see the fucking trash heap we have outside of Earth. That looks like a fucking Sonic parking lot after closing with all the satellites. And that's what I'm and, saying. That's exactly and, what I'm saying. And, and they then they'll be like, by. They've this, seen it. I'm gone. We've exactly. never been visited. We don't have aliens and lizards for fucking leadership or anything like that. No, I don't We're, believe in aliens and like, lizards. None of that. No. But like, like <laughs> you just said you believed in aliens. That no, been I visited. said that. I've, I'm saying no, that I think we've been that. visited. <laughs> I'm saying that we've been visited, but they found us to be an ant species. It's like one of us walking past the ant hill. We're like, oh, there's an ant hill. Like why the fuck would they care about us? Let me, quantum let me, physics. Let me ask you quantum physics with with the cows. Let me ask you this, Boogie. <laughs> what yeah. if we are the race designed to go to other people and we're the highest in technology, which is a possibility? It's, it is a possibility, but we haven't figured it out yet. We still seem to be barely like hitting Rick's uh, sticks with rocks at this point. Is what we're equivalent. But even doing. then, like, what if we make it to the closest livable Goldilocks zone planet? And it's still in like the beginning years, like you're fucking like fish hopping along a puddle and like volcanoes and shit. I mean, with as much as old as the universe is, it's very likely that species have been born, existed and died. We could be but the first. I, I didn't but say that. Unlikely, I said we've right? never been visited. I do believe aliens exist. I do believe there's other yeah. life forms outside of the of Earth that have, have made technologies rise and have a, a thriving society. Like, hell, oh, okay, I believe right. that under the oceans of Europa, there could be technical life not like living technical humans life, yeah, with yeah. like but like like sea life because like towards the core of europa is warm enough near the heat vents to sustain life and the ice creates an atmosphere well the point that i was making was i do not criticize keemstar for wanting to believe or believe it what i criticize keemstar from is it seems like it's his whole personality right now he's tweeting a lot about it man well i, I, I look like, at it this way like, don't let Big this foot, consume you dan bigfoot Got a whole lot shyer when when I uh, the Apple bring up the iPhone. I'm gonna say that when <laughs> HD cameras in everybody's <laughs> pocket, Bigfoot just Feel fell the f- off the planet. Wait, wait, wings don't believe in any action. <laughs> you uh, know, it's like where's the Loch Ness Loch monster? Ness monster. The Ogopogo, the f- Mothman, f- them all. Ogopogo. <laughs> I mean, no, like, I love this. Sh- I love <laughs> cryptozoology. I wish I could do a podcast yeah. on it, but I don't believe in any of it. Oh, kill my friend Jake. No oh, shadow so do, people. Do you nothing. believe? Do you believe in Shadow ghosts, people. Tommy and and, and no. Jordy? Do you believe in ghosts? No, I'm an atheist. Wing, wings over. I did not believe in ghosts until I met one, and then after I met you one, nobody ever believes me. It doesn't matter. But the ghost yeah, of my mother visited me ghost. a few months after she died. You, what did she say? You know what that Nothing was? That was fucking mushroom from Flaming Star. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't even know that guy for over time. <laughs> what did she say? It was what'd 2009. She, say? she didn't say she, anything. She put her hand on my shoulder. <laughs> And, and people in the fucking desert make oasis of a boogie. It's your brain trying to comprehend the world. I mean, it's, it's possible, but I believe now. I might be wrong, but I believe. I might be wrong. There's plenty of Christians Thanks, listening to this podcast who do no. not believe or believe. I'm the type of dude I would go to any ghost. Put me in 1408. I'll, I'll sit there. I'll sit there, rent the movie, and order fucking pizza. I don't give a fuck. like. Ghosts <laughs> are not real. They've never. Did your mom? Is it like like like? Well, like, okay, you don't believe in them. That's boring. You don't believe in them. Fair. What like did? How did you see her? Was she transparent? Was she like? She just uh, put her hand on my shoulder and did, I felt. Did, did the you same go square his clothes? That, oh God, I can't hear it. What, what did you say? Uh, okay, here's the story. I'll make it as brief as I can because I know yeah. people don't like me yeah. on this podcast. We gotta end podcast, this too. Right? But, we gotta, yeah. uh, my mom died in 2009. She died of organ failure brought on by her diabetes. I held her hand as she died. She was very cold. Her hand felt very uniquely cold when she died. And so a few months later, I'm sitting. I'm playing World of Warcraft, and I felt that exact same cold hand that was in my hand now on my shoulder and i stood did you see her did you make eye contact did you get the feeling that i I felt i literally felt it like it's physically if if, if your daughter put her hand on your shoulder right now i I felt it that physically (laughs) exactly like that you know what i'm saying but um we know whose hand it was yeah i know i knew it was was, i'm believing i'm I'm a believer now it's his ghost of his mother being disappointed he's playing world of warcraft <laughs> no, me and my mom, and I have this deal with a lot of people that I love. If you die, bef- if I die before you, I'm going to try to come back and tell you what happens because you deserve yeah. to know. Like if there's a if there's a certain book you need to read, a certain god you need to worship, a certain hat you need to f- wear, whatever the rules are, I'll come back and tell you the rules, and hopefully you can tell other people too in the process. And I think maybe my mom was trying to do that. 
Um, but I stood up, I, I turned around, I looked around the room. I could smell like a faint hint of cool cigarette smoke, which is her brand. She was a chain smoker, two pack a day woman. They got cools in heaven. Cool. I guess so. Yeah. yeah that, that's, that's my whole thing is <laughs> yeah. like, like what was she wearing? Because like they always have ghosts. Did the ghosts nothing, change yeah. clothes? Did they change yeah. clothes or did they just wear what you bury the men? That's a good I don't point. know if people see him in clothes. That's a good point. I will say one oh. piece of evidence that was brought up to me recently, and I think it's brilliant, is uh, every time you see a ghost, it's like dressed in Victorian garb and they're from the Victorian age. But a lot yeah. of people have existed prior to that. Where's the cavemen ghosts? Shouldn't there be a load of cavemen yeah, ghosts? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, it's probably all bullshit, but I just tell you that's what I believe. And I, that's, who you yeah, believe. that's what I believe. You're entitled. To I, You're entitled. To I'm probably yeah, an idiot. This, this mother this, like, really I doesn't need things. to get his right to vote back. <laughs> 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 anyway, this is my this podcast okay. has been my argument to the state of Arkansas to give me back my guns. Thank you so oh, much. <laughs> you <go>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Low Cow Live. We'll see you again with another podcast Sunday. We also got live streams and all that other good stuff. Appreciate your support. We'll see you soon. Take care.